Hey everybody, welcome back to Walks in Wall Street. Today we're gonna to be exploring downtown Miami. Now we've explored downtown Miami many times before, but today we're gonna to take a little bit of a different route. I want to take a walk around the brand new Miami World Center, and then we'll go over to Miami-Dade College and loop back around and check out Base, uh, Bayside Marketplace. And then we'll check out the brand new Aston Martin residences. Right in the distance there, you can see the Frost Science Museum. This is a beautiful park, tons of palm trees, lots of outdoor space. You can see people running, jogging, biking, doing all that good stuff. Tons of stuff to do in downtown Miami. This is the MacArthur Causeway that's going to take you all the way from downtown Miami to South Beach. You could actually see some of South Beach in the distance as well as South Point Park which are these buildings right there, which is in the south of Fifth neighborhood of Miami. So let's go ahead and get this tour started. The Ferris wheel that you see in the distance is right in Bayside Marketplace as well. If you haven't been there in a long time, there's the brand new Pier 5, which is an amazing kind of indoor outdoor bar you're overlooking downtown Miami, 50 Biscayne, the 200 Southeast Financial Center, right on the water. And this is the backside of the Kaseya Center where the Miami Heat play. You'll enjoy a lot of the beautiful landscaping as we overlook, I should say, the main skyline, which includes 1000 Museum has a helipad on the roof. This is a pretty nice walking tour. I should say walking path. Everything's very meticulously manicured. And this park is also very well lit at night. So if you're moving to downtown Miami and you're looking for a place to get some exercise at night, it's safe. This is a very safe park. Oftentimes, in the winter specifically, you'll see a lot of boats and yachts that are docked right here. There's this one yacht, if you want to look it up, it's called Vava 2, V-A-V-A -A 2. I've seen it parked here many times. And it's so big, it has a mini helipad, and there's a teeny little helicopter on the roof of the yacht. It's quite impressive. So at the end of this path, this is gonna be the main highway, right on Biscayne. If you make a right, that's going to take you towards the Frost Science Museum and also towards 1000 Museum, which you'll be able to see through the tree line here in just a moment.
Some notable residents include David Beckham. The building with all the scaffolding, that's the Freedom Tower. It's located adjacent to the Kaseya Center. It's my personal favorite building in downtown Miami. It's where many of the first Cuban immigrants came to the United States, right there. You can see a better shot of 1000 Museum here. This is a Zaha Hadid. It's kind of similar architecture to the building on the High Line in New York City. Zaha Hadid unfortunately passed away, but her architecture definitely lives on. Sometimes at night you'll even be able to see dolphins jumping in and out of the water here. But look at how crazy the facade is at 1000 Museum. It's so unique. And the views, if you have a high floor, you can see all the way to South Beach. You have these incredible sunsets overlooking the rest of Miami. All right, this is Northeast 9th Street. And you're looking at the Paramount Tower. This building has unbelievable amenities and at night, there's a big display all up and down the facade. So we're now headed southbound on Biscayne Boulevard. But for this video, for this walking tour of downtown Miami, we're going to be making a right on 8th Street, which is this next corner right outside the Kaseya Center. So if you're coming to downtown Miami for a game, you want to see the Miami Heat play, or maybe you're going to a concert, something like that, this is where it is, Northeast 8th Street and Biscayne Boulevard, or US-1, the highway. Look at these interesting murals here, these sculptures, rather. And the sun is just setting now. While we're waiting for the light, I'll give you a quick look at the main front of the Kaseya Center. Okay, and we have the light, so let's go ahead and cross. There's lots of restaurants, shops, drugstores, and everything is pretty walkable. Now, I will say, if you're looking for more of a New York City kind of nightlife and energy, just overall energy of the city, you're probably going to get that a little bit more in Brickell as opposed to downtown Miami. but. It's nice nonetheless. One more quick view of the Kaseya Center here. Now you're gonna see so many new developments. Downtown Miami is really being built up in a major way. You have the Citizen M Hotel here, just off to the right. 
which you also have a Metro Mover station. You have two of them. You have one station right here, just behind the Freedom Tower. And then you have another one right here on the corner of 8th Street. So let's say if you live in one of these new condos, like the Paramount Tower, which is this one, which looks so unique, two steps out of your front door and you're at the Metro Mover. If you want to know my take, in order for Miami to have the staying power, which I really think it's going to have, look at that cyber truck right here. It's probably going right where we're going, actually. Uh, you need, they're going to need to fortify the public transportation and make the city much, much more walkable. And they're already starting to do that, which is really good news. Like you'll notice all these sidewalks here. These are pretty much relatively brand new. This is the Park West station of the Metro Mover, right here. And you have all brand new sidewalk, which we're walking on right now. all brand new landscaping. And these are the new condos that are going up that are not ready for occupancy just yet. So the good news is as the condos go up, they already have a lot of the infrastructure. You'll notice a lot of the retail to the right and to the left of me. They're empty right now, that's because it's not ready. But let's say for example, by Miami World Center which is right here. This is gonna be the main Apple store, by the way. So in this little square, Apple has agreed to sign a major lease to bring one of their major flagship Apple stores right here on the corner of Northeast First Avenue. Check out these buildings, these beautiful condos. Once these are at full occupancy, all of the restaurants, all the bars, all the coffee shops are going to be going in this retail here. This is going to be like another mini Manhattan, similar to what you see uh, in Brickell. And you can see how Miami World Center stretches all the way down too. So this is kind of the preview of the city before the city actually becomes reality. In a year, we'll have to come back and do another walking tour of the same area to do a compare and contrast of Miami World Center. They also painted brand new bike lanes here, which you'll see. This is now the corner of Northeast 1st Avenue and Northeast 8th Street. We have a cool little cyber truck here. We'll check that out. Now the Paramount Miami World Center, it's an unbelievable building. It's really, really just unbelievable. The amenities in the building are top notch and the valet always has some amazing cars. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Here you have it, the Paramount Miami World Center. You see Cadillac Escalades in the valet. You have these brand new Lamborghini trucks. A Tesla Cybertruck. Here's a view from the front. Love the Cybertruck. You have that dedicated bike lane to your left. What are you doing?
It's an interesting design on the building. Hopefully the architectural integrity kind of holds up over time. A lot of these funky looking buildings, sometimes the architecture is in and then kind of the architecture is out. You see a Rolls Royce pulling out. And then just adjacent, you have another new condo development. You can see a lot of the sidewalk infrastructure is brand new. We'll make one lap around just so you can see what it looks like because there's soccer fields back here too. And it's a pretty unique view of the backside of 1000 Museum. You have these unique art murals here, which complements Miami very well, being the magic city. and we could check out a lot of the coming soon of the retail. So it looks like you're gonna have a fitness center in here. It says Club Studio. And this is all brand new, just waiting for the residents. You have an interesting sky bridge that connects the Paramount Tower to the other building here. And this is the historic Pan Am Globe. Now here's the view that's really, really cool, particularly at sunset. This is the back side of 1000 Museum. I'll try to extend the camera over the fence. This is going to be all athletic fields here. This is going to be soccer. I think they're even going to build a tennis court here as well. And then again, this infrastructure is brand new. It goes all the way back down. So let's go ahead and double back and we'll check out the rest of the soon to be completed World Center. I just love the vibe. I love the artistic flair. Everything is so modern, new, adds a lot of energy. I mean, can you imagine when people start moving in and the vibe is kind of like a Wynwood? Like you come outside of your apartment you have a burger fi, you have gyms. We'll check out some of the other retail establishments. And we'll walk by the soon to be main Apple store that's going to be down here. There goes the Cybertruck.
That's one of the positive, positive things about Miami. It's a new city. So whenever they build, everything is from scratch, brand new. It's not like in New York City when you're building a brand new condo. Yeah, the condo's brand new, but the street, the sidewalk, and the neighborhood is all original. So it can come off as a little bit dated. Here, you get new buildings and you get brand new infrastructure, which is a win-win. What does this say? Something by Rihanna, coming soon. We'll continue down First Avenue. I'll show you some of the renderings as we walk down, but this place is gonna be so cool. Let's take a look at what's coming. Sephora Museum of Ice Cream. Maple and Ash, Ray-Ban Burger Fi, Anthony's Cole Pizza, Starbucks, obviously, Sarafina, which is big in New York City, the Container Store, Lucid Motors, I keep having to adjust the brightness just because it's sunset, so bear with us. Ah, the gate's open. Maybe we'll get a quick sneak peek of what's to come. Wow, it looks really good since the last time I've been here. They did a great job on this. You see Lucky Strike. And it looks like at the top, you're going to have all outdoor seating, looks to be. And I believe this is going to be the Apple Store, this big thing here. Very cool. All right, let's make this right and let's explore a little bit more. Now, this building is already ready for occupancy and there's tenants living in here. Um, the landscaping is just unbelievable. There's also a really nice restaurant in here that's open too. Maple and Ash is gonna be a pretty, I should say upscale kind of restaurant cocktail bar. This is right on cue. A cool thing to point out, this is uh, what you call freebie. So it's free rides in downtown Miami. Hey. So you can call these things and these Teslas will come pick you up and give you a free ride around the city, no charge. And they just got an added fleet of Tesla Model Ys, which is so cool. So if you don't want to take the Metro Mover, if you don't want to take public transportation, you can just call the freebie and they'll come and pick you up in a Tesla Model Y. Beautiful landscaping here, as you can see. This is the valet to the building. Seems pretty busy. I love these 
kind of murals that are painted on the wall. We'll do one quick lap by the cigar lounge back here. cool little waterway patio. Ample space for seating. There's that cigar lounge. They even have nice music coming out of the water too. So here's what the rendering is going to look like. Let me try to see if I can zoom in. Hopefully that's good. That big white box you see in the middle, that's what we were seeing under construction. That's gonna be the Apple Store. And all of these new condos and apartments around it are essentially gonna feed into the community here, which is, I'm really excited for all this to be completed. It's almost like a new America. It's a new city. You have this little express uh, coffee place, espresso Cuban coffee. Open daily 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. called Flow. If you are familiar with Adam Newman, who is the CEO and founder of WeWork, well, former CEO before it went bankrupt, Flow is his new project now. He somehow got a bunch of VCs to pony up more money for his projects. Wish him the best. I think uh, Andreessen Horowitz was a big investor here at Flow. All right, let's double back. Again, you have that beautiful view of 1000 Museum. cut across to Bayside Marketplace. Check out the Pier 5.
Yellow lights are flashing. All right, yellow lights are flashing. That means we're good to go. So on the other side, let's explore some of this retail storefront. Maple and Ash. This place looks pretty good from the photos. Looks like seafood, cocktails. Has that really high class upscale Miami vibe to it. Locations, Chicago and Scottsdale, Arizona. It looks like this retail is open now. You have a Ray-Ban, you have Sephora, you have Lululemon, Stores look really good too. It's all modern, new. Lululemon, ticker symbol L-U-L-U. -L -U. This was uh, one of the top performing stocks, but this stock's getting hammered now. Serafina, Miami. This is all over New York City. So I think this will complement quite well here in Miami. I'll stand on top of this thing so you can see the other retail. Earl's, looks like more cocktails. And adjacent here is the Equinix data center. This is a big uh, data center REIT stock company. I'm not sure if this picks up on the video, but all throughout Miami World Center, it's playing this beautiful jazz music. It's like this very relaxing and tranquil jazz music. It's awesome. some more apartments and then you have a hotel right across the street and look at how conveniently located it is to the Kaseya Center you can see that in the distance too Lucky strike. Look at how cool the artwork is. So cool. This is the Citizen M Hotel. That perfectly centered shot of the Kaseya Center. All right, everybody, let's go back on the main drag here, Biscayne Boulevard, and we will check out 
Bayside Marketplace. Actually, you know, I think since we're here, let's go all the way down to Miami-Dade College because there's a lot of interesting and exciting things happening in Miami-Dade. I'll take you all to see the Miami Crypto Bowl. So similar to what we have in New York City with the Wall Street Bowl at the Bitcoin conference at the Miami Beach Convention Center in South Beach, which is about two years ago, maybe three years ago now. They unveiled the mechanical, I guess you could say futuristic Crypto Bowl. That's the Freedom Tower once again. Great building. God bless America. And you can see the Metro Mover snaking its way through the city. In New York City, we have a subway. In Miami, you have an elevated Metro Mover. This is the Freedom Tower Station. Northeast 6th Street, which means we're headed southbound. This big building right off to our left, I'll quickly point it out. This is a brand new development called the Elser. This one right here. So you have the option to buy up to four bedroom apartments, fully furnished. And when you're not using them, you could rent them out on a short term basis. So for short term rentals, which I think fits Miami quite well. There's a lot of pied de terre buyers here, a lot of snowbirds, if you will. Again, this is all expanded sidewalk here under the Metro Mover. And in a few more steps, we'll officially be on the campus of Miami-Dade College. This ratty looking building. I think this is getting set for demolition. Oh, there's the Metro Mover. Just off to the left, you have the Miami Culinary Institute. Make a right on Northeast 4th Street. It's June now, so obviously college is not in session. But here it is, the main campus. Not too long ago, I went to a really interesting talk with Citadel's Ken Griffin that took place right inside this building. And Ken Griffin, for those of you who don't know, is the CEO and founder of Citadel and Citadel Securities. And they've moved their corporate headquarters from
from Chicago, Illinois to Miami, Florida. Their temporary home is the 200 Southeast Financial Center. But they're going to be building a massive, super tall building in Brickell. Now, Miami Dade College is investing a lot in technology. Here you have the AI Center or the Artificial Intelligence Center here at Miami Dade College, which is pretty cool that they have that. This is the Cybersecurity Center of the Americas. And then you have the Financial Center right here. A lot of the times they'll have the ticker tape, all the stock tickers moving down too. That's what I love about Miami. It's, it feels like the new America. It feels like what America is supposed to be. Forward-looking opportunity, optimism, relentless optimism, if you will. And when you come to Miami and you see everything being built brand new, investing in technology, investing in the infrastructure, functional government, really makes you bullish on America. Speaking of bullish, here we have the Miami Bull. How cool is that? So right on Broadway in Manhattan, we have Our Bull. And right here on 4th Street in Miami, they have theirs. Pretty cool. So let's head directly down here and then we'll hit into Bayside Marketplace. But we're also going to pass the construction site of one of Miami's most sought after buildings. And you got to look this up. It is the Waldorf Astoria Residences. It's going to be the tallest residential apartment building south of New York City. And it's so tall, they had to do a special engineering tactic called soil mixing in order to build the foundation to support the height of the building. It's unbelievable. Here you have the ticker tape coming by. Verizon, Chevron, Cisco, Home Depot, AT&T, Intel, PepsiCo. I love that. I've always loved that coming here. IBM, Abbott Labs, Walmart. And this is just a small fraction of downtown Miami, by the way. There's, there's so much more than this to see. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just so difficult to pack it all into a one hour video. It's impossible. There's the Metro Mover going by again. Now there's a little piece of the Berlin Wall down here too, which is so cool in terms of just a historical monument. If you continue all the way down here, this is going to take you to the Wells Fargo Center. 
and Miami Tower. We'll quickly hurry it up. So here's Miami Tower. This is called the City National Bank Building. It's this one right here. At night, it's lit up in all amazing colors. Here's another one of those freebies. They have a complimentary free ride service in downtown Miami. All you do is just wave them down. You tell the guy where you need to go, and he takes you there. It's unbelievable. The other ride service is called Freebie if you want to be picked up in a Tesla. This is the College Bayside Station of the Metro Mover. sushi place here. And just off to our right, where those cranes are, that's the main foundation where they just broke ground on the Waldorf Astoria residences. You can see Waldorf, Astoria, Residences, Miami. This isn't the actual construction site though right here. This is the showroom. Now, if you're interested in purchasing a unit at the Waldorf Astoria, I would highly, highly recommend going into the showroom because they have this insane kind of Meta Quest headset slash Apple Vision Pro demo of exactly what it would be like from the views of every single unit in the building it's it's unreal so if you're thinking about buying a unit at waldorf astoria residences miami come to the showroom and i could even help you out too if you email me at thomas.malloy at element.com it's a very very futuristic experience in the distance you have the torch of friendship bayside marketplace but since we're here i want to take you to the construction site i mean we can't pass it this is going to be the tallest residential tower south of New York City. So here's the renderings. I'll quickly explain the lay of the land to all of us. Now, right here in the park is where we started the broadcast. Right in the middle, you have the 1000 Museum Tower. What we did is we walked all the way back past here. This is the Kaseya Center right here. And this rendering, this building with all the blocks, is the Waldorf Astoria Residences. And this is where we're standing right here, right now. It's crazy, crazy, crazy what it looks like. I'm gonna put you guys over the fence so you can see just the massive, hopefully you guys can see that, but. Hopefully you can see it. It's very, very cool looking. And again, check it out if you watch a YouTube video on soil mixing, that's what they had to do in order to make the foundation hold the building. Okay, let's go ahead and double back. Since we have no cars coming. Ah, because the train's coming by, that's why. Let's go ahead and enter Bayside Marketplace. Wow. 
If you haven't been here in about six months to a year, this is going to look totally different to you. They did an unbelievable job. Pier 5 is what I'm most excited about. Oh look, this is brand new too. I, I just seen this today, this electronic board. But Pier 5 is what we're really going to take a look at. It's a very, very cool bar, indoor slash outdoor. We'll wait for the light. Okay. Here's one more view of where we just were, the Miami World Center, Paramount Tower. Here's the freebie ride again. Here we are at Bayside. This brand new outdoor Starbucks. Here is the brand new Pier 5. Friday night, Saturday night, and Saturday night and Sunday night. They have live music here, which is really, really nice. So this is a cool place to come and relax. You can grab a drink at the bar here.
There's even a whole other side with a second floor. So if you go up the escalators, there's a whole second floor with other shops, restaurants, dining. So if you're dining outside, this is pretty much your view. You have this beautiful sunset overlooking downtown Miami. You could watch some of the tour ships pull in and out. If you continue down this way, it'll take you to the Ferris wheel. But we'll go this way and out. the Miami Beach police on bicycles in there. Now there's a whole other side of the city which is being built up, which I think is even a little bit more exciting than the Miami World Center, which we're gonna film in our next walking tour. It's the new Flagler Street. If you go to Flagler Street, which is just right outside 50 Biscayne, that big condo building, they're gonna redo the entire street there's all brand new sidewalks, there's all brand new shops, all brand new restaurants. They just opened Julia and Henry's, which is a great place. So in the next downtown Miami tour, that's gonna be the place that we're gonna check out. Here's what 
the back side of the bar looks like. And this is just one side of Bayside Marketplace. There's a whole other side over here that's two floors. This is brand new too, probably about six months old. Right. If you guys enjoyed that walking tour of downtown Miami from the Kaseya Center to the Miami World Center and finishing in Bayside Marketplace, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more New York City and Miami walking tours, and if you need help finding a place in Miami or New York City, Feel free to reach out to us here at the Kirsten Jordan team at Douglas Elliman, and we'd be more than happy to help you out, find the place for you and your family right here in Miami. Thanks so much for joining.